As kids prepare to head back to school, the reality is they're dealing with a different pandemic. This is not the same virus we fought off this time last year. We know the Delta variant is more contagious. However, researchers have yet to determine if it affects children more seriously. Our Justin Adams joins us live with our back to school coverage. And Justin, one school district says students have to get vaccinated or start routine testing. Yeah, Dom, you know, I'm on the football field at uh, Vista Peak High School. You know, I had to pull out the old ball as well because the fall sports season is going to start at the end of the month and Aurora Public Schools has come out with their vaccination policy. And APS is requiring all student athletes to show that they have been vaccinated or that they will need to be tested for COVID every two weeks while playing their sport. Now, before the season gets underway, student athletes must give their COVID vaccination card to the athletic office or have a negative COVID test 48 hours before the start of the season. APS, APS announced the vaccination policy for sports, but not for any other after school activity. And that caught the eye of Vista Peak head football coach Devon Thornton, who is concerned that the new policy would discourage kids from playing sports at all. Some kids are not going to play just because them and their family's decision is that we don't feel comfortable taking those tests. Being the only district that does it um, and for it to just be athletics, um, you're going to lose some kids. So I understand the precaution and being safe, but you're also going to lose some kids to, to something that's supposed to be an outlet. Vaccine shots, Aurora Public Schools. They are hosting a drive through vaccine clinic at their back to school event at the Aurora Town Center on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Also had a chance to speak with another football coach, and this time in the Cherry Creek School District, and he says that they are expected to find out their vaccine policy on August 16th, and we'll definitely keep an eye on that for you. In Aurora, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Justin